Hello and welcome to another Self-Reliance Outfitters Quick Tip. I'm Matt Mercer, instructor for the Pathfinder School and the founder of the Black Hat Bushcraft Channel here on YouTube. And today I wanted to share with you guys a very quick and simple way that you can create a fully adjustable pot hanging system in your camp using nothing more than a piece of paracord and materials that Mother Nature provides. This system will allow you to adjust your bush pot vertically and horizontally over the fire so that you can better control the heat going into your food and ultimately do better cooking. Let's get started on setting this up right now. The first thing that you're going to need to get started on this system is a simple stretch of 550 paracord. And I have a piece here that's about three feet in length. What you're going to want to do is put a loop at one end of this. And there's many ways to make loops, but at the Pathfinder School, we preach and teach the bowling knot because it's such a multifunctional knot. So we're going to use that one right now. And to do that, we simply turn a loop in the line. And I'm gonna take my working end here and come up from the bottom through that loop. And then that's gonna go around behind the standing line and just simply come back through that loop. And that will give you a nice big steady loop at the end of your line that you can use in this system. That's step one. The second step in this process is to attach a toggle to the opposite end of the line. And that can just be simply a stick that you pick up off the ground or something that you've cleaned up as I have with this one. Now, I'm gonna use a locking lark's head knot to do this. You could do many different knots to attach your toggle. To do a locking lark's head, you just tie a simple overhand knot at one end of your line. Now I'm gonna take a bite in my cordage, as you can see here, then I just lay my toggle in the middle of that. And I'm gonna pull both my stopper knot and my bullet knot back through that loop and cinch that down. And now I'm just gonna turn this around this toggle until that little stopper knot binds up against this. And that'll give me a very secure hold with this toggle, just like that. Now we're ready to move on to the next step. Now in my camp, I've just driven a couple of uprights into the ground that have forks on them. And I've simply laid a crossbar in place and that allows me to hang implements for cooking over my fire. Very simple and time-tested system. Now that I've completed this toggle assembly, all I have to do is just simply slide the bowling knot over top of this crossbar. And that will allow me to adjust this laterally anywhere I want over my fire. That gives me the horizontal adjustment that I need. And now to attach my pot to this line, I just simply slide the toggle through the bale or whatever it is that you're using. A lot of times what we would do is let the toggle bind up against the bale of our pot like this. But in this system, I'm going to let that toggle pass so that my pot is supported by the line. Now I'm simply going to take this toggle and press it against that standing line and just pull a loop over top. I want to center that up and that will hold in place. It'll balance in place. Once again, to get this set up, I just simply run my toggle through and allow the pot to be suspended on the line. At that point, I just grab the standing line here and pull a loop over the toggle. I centered that all up for good balance. Now my pot is suspended, as you can see. If I want to raise that pot, I just simply slide this toggle up and that allows that vertical up adjustment. If I want to let lower my pot down closer to the coals on the fire, I can simply slide that toggle down and that puts the pot right here on my fire. So just by sliding this, it allows that full adjustment. When you want to take your pot off the fire, it's very simple to do that. Now I can just run the toggle back through. So it's a very quick, simple system, nothing complicated about it. It's very quick and easy to put it back over the fire. Just create that loop again, and then I can adjust as I want up or down. It's just a great little system. It's simple and it works well. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tip. I've been using this system for a long time and it served me very well, and I hope that this will also serve you well. Thank you for your time and interest to tune in. If you haven't subscribed to the Self-Reliance Outfitters channel here on YouTube, I hope that you'll go ahead and click that subscribe button. Make sure you ring the bell button. There'll be many more quick tips coming from David Canterbury, Sean Kelly, Josh Ingert, Kevin Baxter, and myself. Thank you guys, and until the next one, you guys take care, be safe.